I hope my head's not in the way. We're doing this one take. Let's go. Divine light shines <sighs> within me. Why does this seem a lot more intense than the rest? I saw a stun. I saw a stun icon on that. So she has a daybreak effect. And she's stunning units. Let's go, Yasuo. Let's go, Yasuo. Her allies are also stronger. When played at first light. What? Can we read the card? Yeah, we get the daybreak. I see what you're doing here. Daybreak, nightfall. Once day breaks four times. She levels up. Behold the divine power of the sun. I'm not even getting a chance to read this. Now whenever the sun shines. Oh, what is that? Leona stuns the strongest enemy. All that you are told. Stun support. Yeah, what's that stat line though? Four six. Yeah, what is that? Bold moves win games. I do not believe it. Daylight everlasting. All right. No chance to pause the video here. Let's go check out the cards. Alright, so this is actually going to be my second take because I had to quickly, quickly go and double check what the hell daybreak means. So, daybreak means day breaks when you've played a daybreak unit that turn. So when you play a unit that activates daybreak, that's how day breaks. So Leona is a 4 mana 3-5, very good stat line. Disappointed that she costs 4 mana, makes it harder for us to consider using her with Yasuo. But Yasuo already is kind of struggling anyway, so this is going to be a great addition in general. We shouldn't complain again some, about getting some more stun support. So on Daybreak, when you play Leona, she'll stun the strongest enemy. It's pretty average on the play. But once you start to flip her, so you've activated Daybreak 4 plus times, which is not the craziest thing to do. You can oftentimes level up Leona on curve with enough Daybreak units. Once Leona is flipped, Daybreak, or when you activate another Daybreak, stun the strongest enemy. So if she's already on the field and you're activating other cards with Daybreak, you'll be able to like constantly stun the opponent's board, which is pretty decent for pushing uh, damage. Leona's Morning Light. This is a give allies plus two plus two this round and shuffle Leona into your deck, obviously. This is a playable card, also Leona's champion spell. On Daybreak, activate all ally Daybreak effects at once. This is a little bit crazy. It's pretty cool, it's pretty niche. It could be a finisher sometimes as well. Activating all those daybreaks at once. I wonder if that counts for each, like, I'm pretty sure I'd assume that on Leona's uh, flipped effect, this will actually activate all those daybreaks, which will be strong, uh, stunning all of the uh, opponent's board. So this Leona's Morning Light can be a great finisher in a mid-range deck. Uh, over on the right here, we have the Zenith Blade. This is a grant and ally plus one, plus two and overwhelm. On Daybreak, you get to draw a Zenith Blade. So basically, you can kind of play this throughout the turn, draw another Zenith Blade. If you've got certain units on the field that allow you to keep activating Daybreak, then you can keep cycling your deck for Zenith Blade. In mid-range decks, I tend to struggle with uh, card draw in general. This might be an okay card. I think it's a little bit expensive for what it provides, but in terms of um, running a couple of these for some sort of chip damage finisher in a mid-range deck, it might be a consideration. I compare this to Radiant Strike most of the time, although we do get the Overwhelm, which is quite a powerful keyword. The power of this is going to be, once we start deck building on the expansion, is how important is card draw? That's where we start to ask how powerful this is, because if we just like have no card draw and we need some sort of deck thinning, Zenith Blade might be a considerable uh, addition only as a 2 of. I don't think you want to go for the 3 of here. Although I might be wrong. For now, I think this card kind of looks weak, but we'll have to wait and see. It is slow speed as well, which is kind of, you know, making it a bit weaker. Top right, Sunburst. Slow. Deal 6 to a unit on Daybreak. Instead, Silence it this round and deal 6 to it. Um, in any sort of mid-range deck, which I'll be probably most likely building, and a lot of players will be most likely building with cards like these, 
uh, you probably won't be running Sunburst, but if we start to dip into some control Targon cards and making control Targon decks, uh, Sunburst may a lot of the time be considered for similar reasons to what Thermo Beam does, although Thermo Beam is a lot more flexible than this card, so I don't know if you run three copies of this. However, it is a very interesting card and it has the ability to interact with certain units that would otherwise have like Last Breath or uh, annoying effects like Barrier. But in general, I think this card's okay. It's removal for a region that probably isn't going to have much of it. So if you need removal in certain regions, this is going to be a vanilla card for now, although I don't think it is too crazy. Uh, so we have the Guiding Touch. This is actually a Targon card on the bottom right as well. At burst speed, heal an ally or your Nexus 2, draw one. Already, uh, two mana draw one is a reasonable card. This is a burst speed card as well. It can be played during combat. No weird tricks for this one. Heal an ally on your Nexus for two. I think this is a very good card. I think already, like if we're making some sort of control deck, mixing in with Targon, uh, Guiding Touch becomes an extremely good option. This is kind of like a little bit better than Health Potion a lot of the time as well. Seems like a pretty decent card. Like it's not going to be super game breaking, but it's definitely going to be a considerable option for people when they're deck building. This card's okay. You can also heal your beefy units as well. And with the whole Daybreak synergy, um, oftentimes you can get a bit of value from this. So overall, I think uh, Leona looks like she has a lot of potential. Um, I'm only looking at Leona mostly from Yusuo's eyes. Like Yusuo is just having like, a, you know, he's falling in love right now. He's seen some more stun support that isn't in the Noxus region. Is Leona enough to make a strong Yusuo deck? I'm not entirely sure. But is Leona quite a decent unit for considering for building uh, new mid-range decks? I think so. I think stunning uh, your opponent's entire board sometimes can be a little bit wild. Depends how many cheap Daybreak units we have. We do have that 5 mana 5-5 five, five card that provides you more Daybreak units in hand. And Leona's champion spell does seem pretty decent in terms of finisher. It's like a cheaper... It's a cheaper um, packed card. Oh, I can't remember what the card's called, but um, it's decent price for what it does. I wouldn't say it's too crazy to, to activate this in the first turn for your daybreak however i might be completely wrong about all these cards so i'll leave it up to you guys what are your thoughts about these cards what do you think do you think leon is hot do you think she's trash you know let me know i'll see you guys tomorrow for the rest of the card reveals we're getting ever so close to the expansion release you guys have been awesome i am fake hero bye bye